Good morning. Good morning from Botswana. I want to talk to you a little bit today about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are a point of, point of fascination for a lot of people, and that's myself included, especially uh, when I was a child. Uh, but they're also a great point of stumbling for many Christians and a point of questions. And so I had done a short, and in the short I just mentioned how the word dinosaur was actually only coined in 1842 which is obviously well after the Bible was written. And so that's the reason you don't find the word dinosaur in the Bible, and they were likely being referred to as dragons. And I found 22 references uh, to dragons in the scripture. They're all Old Testament. Uh, the references in the New Testament refer to Satan. It's an allusion to Satan rather than uh, a literal dragon. Okay, the other thing is there's also a reference to a creature called behemoth, that's in Job chapter 40, verses 15 to 24. Uh, many people consider Behemoth to be a dinosaur. Some versions actually have a little footnote that says, this was a hippopotamus, and that is a lie. Uh, verse 17 of that passage clearly says that Behemoth had a tail like a cedar, like a cedar tree. And anybody knows that a hippopotamus, though they are big, has a very, very wimpy tail. This is just more disinformation being spread so don't believe it. But the thing that's more distressing to me, I suppose, is that uh, when we're taught about dinosaurs, we are taught that dinosaurs lived millions and millions of years ago. And the earth is not, biblically, it is not millions and millions of years old. And scientifically, it is not millions and millions of years old. There is actually no evidence for that in a scientific sense. But this is what we are told over and over. So much so that when you see, let's say, a little play set of Noah's Ark, you never find dinosaurs as part of the animals going into the Ark, and Christians tend to stay away from it. But uh, I just wanted to go over a few things as far as the dating of the dinosaurs and why you should really not consider the millions and millions of years rhetoric. We're going to have a, a link in the description uh, to an evolutionfacts.com. Uh, is a very good site. Hope you'll click on it. it. has a lot of information there about the many lies that are being forwarded uh, to promote the evolution theory. Uh, first of all, you may have heard of something called the geologic column. The geologic column was invented in 1831 through an atheist named Charles Lyell. This is where you see the many uh, layers of soil, and he identified them in certain uh, categories. Uh, there was, you know, things like uh, Cambrian, uh, oh boy, Mesozoic, different, different names. I do not have them memorized. I probably knew them better when I was small. But the point is, Charles Lyell made this up, and he assigned different values of time to them, even though there was no science behind it. There was nothing to say, oh yes, this is so many millions of years. That was his guesswork. It was only guesswork. And this became the uh, formula, this became the standard for evolution. This uh, uh, geologic column, without this geologic column, Darwin would not have been able to bring forth his book in 1859. And even to this day, to this day, the, the scientists, geologists, when they find a fossil, they date it according to Lyell's geologic column, which has been nothing but guesswork. Uh, the dating of the dinosaur fossils is a case of for one, is a case of circular reasoning. For example, if you assign dinosaurs into a layer of Earth that was between 70 and 130 million years old, and they find this fossil in there, they will say, okay, this layer is, is so old from bottom to top, they will pinpoint where the fossil is at, and then they will guess, okay, this fossil was 80 million years old. Okay, when you are asking, how do you know that it's 80 million years old, you'll say by, they would say, the scientists would say, that's by the layer, the layer of strata that it's in. Now, if you came to a layer of strata, and they would say, okay, well, how do you know how, how old the strata is? They would say, by the fossils that are in it. So you see, it's circular reasoning. It's not really based on science at all. And you would think that after all this time, we'd have had scientific tests that would have shown how old, you know, the strata is. But the truth is, we really don't. All the, the dating methods, the long-age dating methods that would be necessary, they are very seriously flawed, and they have great 
uh, variance in their readings, which is why they just fall back on Charles Lyell's uh, geologic column. They don't bother going through the dating methods. And this is literally true. You have to know that, that the evolution theory is a lie. It is a lie of Satan. It is unscientific. And so a lot has been done to push this, and there are a lot of lies with it. And one of those lies is they might tell you, well, the dates of the earth have been scientifically proven. That is a lie. And let me tell you how it is done. What they will do, because these, these dating methods are so unreliable, they will, they will literally test the layer of strata hundreds of thousands of times, that much, until they get the reading that they want. They're not just testing it for what it is. They get, they get the reading that they want. They throw away all the results they, that they didn't want. And then they say, scientific testing verified our theory. Obviously, this is like the very definition of the Bible's uh, verse in 1 Timothy 6.20 of science falsely so-called. It is just guesswork, and they're just trying to promote their theory. As a matter of fact, for Charles Lyell, in the original geologic column that he uh, made up, there were 21 layers of strata, and there ha that has never been found anywhere in his order or in this order that he had around the world. The most that have ever been found is eight layers in a row, and they are serious, seriously flawed. You know where uh, older strata will be found on top of of uh, younger strata to the tune of like hundreds of square miles of it. So they really have no explanation for this. You may have heard of, of small uh, prehistoric extinct animals being found on top of Mount Everest. Well, how does that happen? I thought that was supposed to be new strata. So you see, there are problems with this. And you should always just believe the Bible, which says that uh, all of the animals were created on the sixth day, and the earth is a little over 6,000 years old. But I want to give you this this kind of flaming example of just how this deception goes. And this is from the top, the top of the American government. It comes down. In Glen Rose, Texas, at one point, they had discovered human and dinosaur footprints in the same strata together. Now, obviously, the evolutionists would say that dinosaurs lived like 70 million years ago, and humans were only two or three million years back in the past. So they shouldn't be together. But they were together, fully human, fully modern footprints, along with the dinosaur footprints. So they called up the Smithsonian Institute. They got in touch with National Geographic, and they sent a scientist out to the site. When the scientist got there, they were anticipating his arrival. He came, and he went to an area that had only dinosaur footprints. And the people said, hey, the ones you're looking for are over here, the human and the dinosaur prints together. His response was, I don't see them. He couldn't see them because that went against his theory. It didn't matter what the truth was. He said this. Now, he did eventually get cornered on this. But what was really interesting is that National Geographic did publish an article about it. And you would look at the makeup of these pictures. Okay, in the, in the uh, actual footprints, the dinosaurs and the humans were running. They were running in the same direction together, and it is thought they were probably fleeing during the deluge, during the flood, but they were running together. So the picture that National Geographic had was of dinosaurs and ape men running together, ape men. And then the, they did a little close-up drawing of the footprint, which was an ape footprint, a separated big toe from the rest of the toes. They did this in National Geographic. And that is not what was found on the site. So you see that this issue of dinosaurs is, can be somewhat intimidating for a Christian. But know the facts. Science does not support the millions of years old theory. And I've just given you some information by which you will be able to refute the atheists and hopefully help your children to know the truth. May God bless.